I know it's been a little while. I just haven't really had much to share as far as beauty stuff goes, but um, now I do. <laughs> so I haven't ordered anything in a long time on Sephora, and um, they've put out these kind of palettes before, and I've never purchased one, and I always have kind of kicked myself for not doing that because they get such great reviews. Um, you know, and it's just fun to get makeup every once in a while. And I'm not one of those people that has a lot of, like, real makeup. Like, I have my, my bronzer and maybe my handful of eyeshadows that I rarely use because I don't wear a lot of makeup a lot of times. But I see things and I think, well, that would be really fun to try or whatever, but I don't want to spend the money of just buying, you know, single eyeshadows all the time or whatever. So... Anyway, um, I had seen this palette that, it's going to be kind of there, now you can see it. This palette, um, it hasn't been out that long, but I saw it and thought I really, really want it. And I think it was $34. And if you know me, uh, you know I like Benefit products. And so for $34 to get all of these things to try, that's worth it to me in my mind because I don't wear makeup a lot and so it's kind of fun for me to just try these things and what I like about it if I can get it open is it comes in this big palette it's kid proof but once you open it up it comes with um, a small palette inside so whatever one that you're using um, you can just pop it out from the back and then put it with its full glory into this little palette and snap it in and then you can take it with you in your purse um, or if you're just going away for the weekend or whatever and I thought that that was pretty genius so anyway um, each palette's different and I obviously have my favorites just based on what I'm just drawn to um, normally let me see if the names are on the back No, they probably have them on the back of the packaging, but um, that's long gone. So anyway, if you can kind of see, we'll just show you quickly. Um, I'm obviously drawn to more, like this is probably my favorite one, just because it's more like neutrals. Uh, but I think that every single one of them has like really great things to them. This would be about 5 my number two. I really like the pinky blush the coral lip gloss, and then this kind of like smoky natural eye. Um, this one also would be really good for me. These colors would look really pretty. And then, um, that's a good one too. And what I also like is that half the shades are kind of, have like a shimmer to them or like good glittery, sparkly, and then the other half are like matte. And I tend to like matte shadows, but I think it's really fun to do a little bit of sparkle in your eye. Um, the blushes are all really great, or blush and bronzer, this is kind of more like a bronzer, um, but they're all really, really pretty, and the lip glosses themselves have, like, insane payoff, like, they really are more, like, um, a lipstick than a lip gloss, so, like, just to show you, this one will probably show up good on screen, um, this one... Do they not have colors on them? It would probably be on the packaging again. So this one's like this pink, which you'd think like as a lip gloss would just be kind of pinky. We'll see if it shows up on camera. See how pink it is? So they really act <laughs> more as like a lipstick, which, if you also know me, is not something that I am, I don't know, like I'm not really a lipstick person, but more to come on that later. So anyway, I'm loving my new little palette for $34 or whatever. Um, if you can get your hands on one and you have the cash to do it, I think that it's really fun, if nothing else. And now I kind of have like makeup like forever. Like what more makeup do I need to buy? So I really love that. Um, yeah, love that. Okay, so then number two thing, if you, um, have watched the videos before you know that this is like my go-to number one bronzer that I've been using forever for like the last 10 years 
I love hula and I haven't really had anything that's compared to it. I think I've mentioned before that I've had a, Lan a Lancome bronzer that was nice but it was just really expensive um, for not like my favorite product. So when I ordered that palette from Sephora I got you know my free samples and one of them was this terracotta skin from Guerlain. Anyway inside of it was a little packet that I've used. But what it is, is, let's see what they say about it. Um, Guerlain's first Healthy Glow Foundation. So technically, I guess it's a foundation. But it has bronzing powder mixed into it. Um, which I don't think I've ever really, I don't think I've ever tried that before or really have heard about it that much. But anyway, so... <laughs> It came in like a little packet and I just squeezed some out and like just put it, uh, you know, here and here and then just the teeny teeny bit that was left over I kind of did like this sun kiss action. Number one, it felt like powdery, baby powdery, whatever. It wasn't greasy, it wasn't goopy, it wasn't, it was what lovely, it was wonderful. <laughs> and it smelled like a dream, it smelled very powdery but not like baby powdery it was like yummy mommy powdery it was beautiful and I really really liked it so I haven't looked up how much this stuff is it probably is really expensive because what I do know about this brand is that it tends to be pricey but the products are really great so this might be something that I do next summer which is also really nice because it's so hot here I liked it. It was great. So, um, I guess I'm just sharing this to share it. You know, whatever. That was like a revelation to me. It was super nice. And I don't wear a foundation, but I would totally wear that. I mean, it made my skin just lovely. And it really did kind of like even out the skin tone of where I put it. So that was nice. Um, another sample that I got was this little sample right here, but it's actually lasted me um, a nice long time. It's from Clinique, and it's their new acne solutions line um, called Emergency Gel Lotion Intensive. And it's a benzoyl peroxide acne medication, um, which obviously I've used a lot of benzoyl peroxide things over the years, but for whatever reason, this formula works really well with my skin. Um, when I use benzoyl peroxide products, it tends to really dry out my skin and kind of make everything really flaky. Does that sound familiar to people? Um, but this doesn't. I guess because it's this gel lotion, it's kind of like taking that like peroxide gel stuff that you can buy like Persagel or whatever or like an oxy lotion, putting them together and making this nice thing. Um, and I have been really broken out lately. My hormones are just totally crazy. And uh, this has really been helping. So I just put this on at night and I actually put it on in the morning a couple days that it was just like out of control and I wasn't going anywhere. And it's been really nice. But it did bleach my pillowcase. So when you do wear benzoyl peroxide things to bed, make sure you're like having like an old pillowcase that you don't care about. That's just... I guess I kind of forgot about that because it has been so long since I've used something like this. So anyway, for those that are acne prone or apparently now I'm really acne prone, um, this was nice because then maybe if my acne just keeps coming on, maybe I'm experiencing acne now in my 30s really badly, <laughs> um, then I'm going to need some acne skincare. So I don't know what's going on. Hopefully this is just like a little phase but if not I may check out this um, acne solutions line I know they also have a new like acne solutions line for uh, Olive Olay I believe maybe like it's part of their Regenerous thing so I don't know does anyone have acne does anyone know about acne stuff I used to be on proactive back when I had acne back in the day um, should I go back on proactive should I just try some of these things what what do you think is it just Texas? Is it the humidity? I have no idea. I'm trying to figure it out. I have no idea. So we'll just see. But this was really nice. Okay, then my one revelation product that I can't even believe that I'm talking about on here because I seriously like own 
one lipstick and I don't even like it. Um, I was looking at the new Sonia Kashuk uh, cosmetics at Target just because they're really pretty. Like I like her packaging and her whole little area is so minimalist and really pretty and they have these new palettes out for your eyes that are like the prettiest eyeshadows ever. They're all like sparkly and holiday and oh, it's so pretty. I don't really need them now that I have this going on, but there was one that was just like quad, like four, and they were all these pretty, go look, prettiest eyeshadows. And they had these lipsticks, and they were like the prettiest, well, A, I'm like a sucker for packaging, but the, the colors themselves were so pretty. And I was thinking, just try it. Just try a stinking lipstick. So after much hemming and hawing and asking Page and River, because that's how much I know about lipstick, I decided to go with this color, which I, if I had to describe it is maybe like a, um, like a berry peach color, if that makes sense to you. It's called Sugarbush, Sugarbush, which is hilarious that it's called that, but anyway, um, it is a full-fledged lipstick, and I've seen those like little personality things they can tell about they can tell about you by the way you apply your lipstick like the way your lipstick too looks well whatever that means that's what I am so it's pretty much the exact same color as my lips and now I have like this pink lip gloss on Let's see if I can take it off so you really can barely tell that I have it on see how nice that lip lip that lip gloss is like a lipstick okay so anyway it's pretty much the same color as my lips Just a little tiny bit darker. And it's really moisturizing. It's not drying, but it's not like goopy either. Like those glosses, that would just get everywhere. That's like coming off on everybody and everything. Um, and I like it. I think it's really nice. So now I kind of know why people like lipstick. Not that I'm going to run out and buy any lipstick anytime soon, but. I'm just glad that I went with my little um, gut and listened to my children <laughs> and that we picked this sugar bush. There were a couple other colors that I wouldn't mind um, having at some point in the future, maybe for Christmas, buy myself a lipstick, but um, I've welcomed myself to the club and I kind of think it's pretty cool. I don't know. I don't wear it every day. I kind of just put it on when I'm thinking about it, but what I guess I've noticed is that because I'm more tan here, my skin color and my lip color are kind of like the same now. My lip color is not as pronounced when I'm this tan. So this kind of just gives me back that little, like, yes, I do have lips kind of a thing. I think that's why I like the Burt's Beeswax Pomegranate Chapstick so much because it just gives your lips just enough color where you're like, these are, I do have lips. You know what I mean? Does anyone know what I mean? Am I just crazy? Okay, so that's my little roundup for now. Um, I haven't changed up anything about anything, really. Um, just kind of letting my hair do whatever. Um, it hasn't been washed today yet, but it's kind of humid out, so whatever. This is the state of my bangs. This is how, you, how much you can tell that my hair grows so fast. I've trimmed my bangs at least um, at least three times, maybe more than that, and they've already grown out that much. So, for people that maybe are shocked by the fact that I just took scissors to my own hair, that's why, because they grow out at a ridiculously fast rate. But when I do that, then I have to deal with this. So, anyway, I'm excited because a friend is coming to visit, like a real friend is coming to visit us. Um, she drove from a really long way away, like Illinois, and she went and visited our other friend in New Mexico, and then now she's driving down to see us, and I am just excited. It's our first friend to come here, so bless her heart, she's on her way, and um, we'll be visiting for the next couple days, and um, this is finals week for Justin, so by the end of this week, Saturday he'll be done with his first semester of his master's 
So I'm so proud and I'm so happy for him. And it's been a really, really super long month. And just making the adjustment to having him, you know, back in school or whatever. It's been really hard and we are figuring it out. So I'm proud of us and just like balancing everything, you know, it's really hard. Just balance work life and couple life and kids and all that stuff and now we've thrown in like school onto all of it and his work got real crazy so it's just been stressful but maybe that's why I'm having problems but anyway um everything's good here and I can't even believe like I totally blew over my number 200 posts 200 posts like that's crazy I can't believe that I've posted that many times and the other girls have posted to get us to 200 and I blew right past it like should have had a party um that shows you how out of it I am but anyway I'm excited about what this next school year holds um for Paige and for us and me and Riv having some more time together and for all of you kids that are already back in school all you moms I hope you're doing okay and Maybe enjoying your quiet houses? I don't know. How's it going for everybody out there? Let me know. And that's it. So, let me know how you're doing. We'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.